What's up guys, it's already starting, I'm back with another video for today, um, kind of an unexpected video, I hope the quality of this isn't too bad, but you know, you're just going to have to deal with it anyway, it's kind of the face, uh, face HD camera on my uh, MacBook, so, anyway, I kind of learned a little bit of a lesson going forward with buying equipment and software and hardware and all that jazz. Um, you definitely want to buy the highest quality product, not saying the Avermedia is a high quality product. Um, but as you know, if you saw on Twitter or whatever like that, I am getting the Elgato HD60, and I recently got the Avermedia Live Gamer Portable, which is really attractive to me just because, you know, you can record without the PC, because I don't have an actual PC or gaming PC. I have a, um, MacBook laptop, which a, you know, allows me to do a bunch of other stuff, and I really like the Apple software, so that's why I have a MacBook. And I don't have enough money to get a PC or a gaming PC or anything like that. Um, but I was just running into a lot of software, hardware issues with the Avermedia Live Gamer Portable. Um, and I found that my laptop's able to hand every handle everything I need, which, um, you know, the Elgato HD60 obviously has to be hooked up. Um, but they provide a lot more assistance for Mac, they have a lot more software for Mac. And um, Avermedia had an XSplit broadcaster, gamecaster. And it was only for Windows only, which was really a bummer because, you know, it's a great program, or I've heard it's a great program, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. So I had to uh, return the Avermedia Live Gamer Portable. Lucky, luckily, I was under the 30-day warranty. I had like seven days left. So uh, I'm sending that back to Amazon on Wednesday. I already ordered my Elgato HD60 because I should get a full refund. Um, but either way, if I don't get a full refund, at least get like a 75% refund, you know, easily over over $100 worth. Uh, so nothing worried there. I also ordered the Elgato chat link cable. Um, it's out of stock, but they're going to send me an email and ship that out as soon as one is available. I'm sure a lot of people want it, you know, just because it's so appealing. And one thing with the Avermedia Live Game Report was is that I wasn't able to hear the game audio and chat with my friends through my headset while still being able to record the game audio and uh, the chat party into uh, the Elgato itself and I think with XSplit there's a possibility that you can at least that's what the Avermedia chat support told me uh, but obviously like I said that's not available to Mac which was really a struggle and then the driver software uh, the firmware actually was uh, not compatible with Mac um, at least it wasn't easily able to open it's like an exe file and all that jazz um, so just a really bit of really big struggle um, you know I had one of their product like four years ago and you know that worked fine but it was you know PC free mode and pre PC free mode and um, you know at the time I didn't have a MacBook or anything like that so I need to be able to put up the highest quality content I can especially in this day and age when everybody's you know fighting inclined to um, you know make videos at the highest quality content you know and obviously you want to get views and stuff like that but I I do this just because I love it I mean I've stayed up you know 12 o'clock on a school night trying to make videos just because I enjoy going on YouTube and uh, seeing my own videos on there interacting with um, my close net of friends you know on Twitter and stuff like that if someone comments on a video you know it's just so cool the interaction process that I have with YouTube you know that's why I continue to do it just meeting new people um, because you never know what that's going to lead to when I'm you know, in college, 25 years old, looking for a job, you know, somehow I could magically end up working for, you know, COD Esports or something like that. Something random, you know, you never know. So just, I obviously love doing uh, YouTube and stuff like that. Not so much concerned about, you know, I got to get this many views on a video. Because obviously you can see on my channel that views fluctuate, you know. I got 60 views or 55 views or whatever, which isn't a whole lot. But compared to my channel, you know, that's a really good video. And um, because I only have 100 subscribers and then... You can see when a video doesn't do that well because I'm going to get 10 to 20 and probably three or four of those are me refreshing the page or you know going back and checking to see if anybody you know liked the video or whatnot. Um, so just learned a little bit of valuable lesson today, um, sharing, sharing you my input. Still wanted to put out a video. You'll probably see this on Wednesday. I think that's when I'm going to upload it uh, just because it's so late at night. And um, you know I've tried some really late at night uploads just to keep a streak going, uh, but it didn't really work out that well. Uh, so that's that, ordering the HD, uh, Agato HD60, <laughs> excuse me, I'm burping for a little bit, um, but I got that order, got the chat link coming soon, I hope, 
Um, and then maybe kind of a special announcement that I might give you guys in a little bit. I haven't really done one of these before, um, but it might be pretty cool to do. So I'm going to let you guys know more about that later. But if you did, uh, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and uh, commenting, interacting with me. Um, that's all going to help me in the long run. And I love doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.